Today I'm going to be making some French macaron and here are the ingredients that we need. One cup of icing sugar, this is also called confectioner's sugar or powdered sugar. Three quarters of a cup of ground almonds. Three egg whites. Three tablespoons of granulated white sugar. One tablespoon of meringue powder. And our last ingredient, a little bit of gel food coloring. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. So I'm going to get my almond powder right in there and then our powdered sugar and then I'm going to sift this and I've already sifted the almonds a couple of times because I do want to have the smallest pieces of almond for this recipe when you buy your almond like that at your bulk food store there are you know little pieces that are larger than the rest so it's good to sift it a few times okay that's good so now we know we have some really nice fine particles. We have our icing sugar and also our ground almonds and that is ready to go. So to a large bowl I have three egg whites and you always want to have your egg whites at room temperature because the volume that you get out of them is much better than when you're using a cold egg. So that's three egg whites. I'm going to grab my mixer and I'm just going to start mixing this up. And I have my meringue powder here, that's one tablespoon. And I'm just going to get that right in there as well. And I'm going to start mixing this around. So once that is mixed in, and our egg whites are starting to get foamy like you see them there, then I'm going to slowly start adding in my granulated sugar. So a nice, slow, steady stream, just pour it right in. There we go. And then I'm going to increase my speed on my mixer and I just want to bring this up to soft peaks. So I'll continue doing this and I'll be back in a second. Alright, that looks good just like that. So at this point I'm going to grab my sieve again. And I'm going to get about half of our mixture in there. Just give it a little shake. Okay, that's good. Okay, and then I'm gonna switch over to a spatula and I just wanna fold this in. We don't wanna deflate this too much, so you just get it around, work gently, and that looks good. And then we're gonna add in our food coloring. I'm using orange, so I'm just gonna get some nice orange in there. Get that incorporated. Oh, that looks good. And then let's just fold this in as well. Once the color is pretty uniform right through the entire mixture, we can now put in the rest of our dry. So we'll just get all of that into the sieve one more time and get all of that sifted in. Okay and then we'll mix in the rest. So just gently fold until it's well incorporated. And that looks good. Okay, so I've put my mixture into my piping bag and we are ready to go. So I'm just giving a nice gentle even pressure as I push them out. And you can make them larger if you wish. And our last one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bang the tray. What I want to do is get any air bubbles that are in there. I want to get them out and have them surface out through the top of the macaron. And you'll see what this does is it spreads them out as well. Okay, that looks good. Now, the next secret part of this recipe is that we can't throw these in the oven and bake them off right away. I need to get a skin forming on the top of each one. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna let these sit here for about 20 to 30 minutes so that an actual skin forms on the top of each one of my little macaron. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn the camera off. 
I'm going to wait around 20 to 30 minutes and then I'll come back and I'll show you. I'm going to touch the top of them just to show you and then we're going to pop them into our 300 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. So I still have some left over and I'm going to make another tray just for fun. Perfect. And then the same thing again. I'm going to bang these down. Okay, that's good. And now I'm just going to let these ones sit as well so that we get a covering on these as well. So this is about 25 minutes later. And if I touch the top of the macaron, you can see that my finger is dry. So these are ready to go. There's a nice skin on all of them. I'm going to pop these into my 300 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, here we go. My nice macaron baked for a total of 15 minutes and they look awesome. They are extremely hot right now, so I do have to let them cool right down. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see them. Before we put our macaron in the oven, we let a skin form on the top. So when we pop our tray of macaron into the oven, steam starts forming inside the actual cookie. Steam rises and it tries to come out of the top of the cookie, but it notices that there's a skin there and it can't go through. So what does it do? It starts escaping through all of the sides of the macaron, all like that, and that is why it bursts open and we get that beautiful little foot. So at this point, I'm just gonna let these completely cool and then I'll come back in a little while. So I'm back and these are completely cooled now and I'll just show you how easily they come off of the nice non-stick surface that I have here. And they just come like that. Some of them will stick a little bit more. You can hear just a little bit of a, you know, a little sticky sound as they're coming off. It's best to put your finger underneath and just give a little push. Don't ever grab your macaron and like yank it because they are very, very fragile. So you just kind of like peel it back. So just put your finger underneath. Here, this one here is sticking a little bit. Put your finger underneath, like right directly under it and just push it and it just peels right away, just like that. Okay, so these are really, really nice. Now I'll show you my other tray that I did. So here's another tray that I did with the remainder of that batter. And this now is on parchment paper. And you can see these are completely cool as well, by the way. And these just come off perfectly, just like that. Really, really nice. So there we have it, my beautiful macaron. The only thing left to do is to put some filling in them and we'll do that next. So for our last step, we wanna give our beautiful macaron a nice filling. And what I've made here is a Nutella chocolate ganache and we're gonna fill our little macaron with some of this beautiful filling. If you wanna know how this is made, I'll put a link to this recipe in the description below the video. So you wanna take your little macaron, you wanna turn it over so that you have the flat side, and then you're just gonna slowly pipe a little bit of your beautiful ganache right like that. Grab the top and just push it on and just give it a little twist and you don't want to push too hard because you don't want the stuff you know you don't want the filling coming out all the way around the sides you know you don't want it pouring out the side you want to make it look nice and clean just like that really really nice and this is a really really good Nutella ganache it's got a lot of ganache flavor so check that video out if you like Nutella so I'll give another little squeeze you can put a lot, you can put a little, whatever tickles your fancy. Grab your top, just put it on the top, and just give it a little, little twist, and look at that. Beautiful. So I'll do that one more time. And grab another one, just start in the middle, squeeze with your piping bag. And always try to choose another macaron that's about the same size and then just get it on there and as you push what happens is and if you push you know correctly you get a nice perfect level filling inside just like that oh very very nice I'll zoom in and I'll do one last one so I've zoomed in so take your macaron turn it over give a little squeeze with your piping bag 
And it really, really is much easier when you do use a piping bag. You know, doing this with a spoon, it's a lot harder. You could use a little pallet knife to do that as well. And then grab your top and just gentle pressure, just like that. You can give it a little twist. And there we have it. Beautiful. Okay, one more. So squeeze. Find a macaron that's about the same size. Equal pressure. Give it a little twist if you wish. Turn it as you're looking at it. That looks good. And there we have it. So that's it for this video. These are my French macarons. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wish. I do appreciate that. That's it for today, and I'll see you next time. Ooh, lovely.